to order our West Valley City Council meeting for tonight. I hope that we have all council members in attendance. With that, we'll turn to Council Member Steve Bueller for the opening ceremony. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, tonight, I want to say a few words about the uh, senseless violence that occurred in Las Vegas over the weekend. I am very concerned um, about the depravity and the evil that bubbles up sometimes in our society, in our free society, where we value our freedoms, that there is an undercurrent of bad and senselessness and people who seem to have no regard for other people and are willing to kill as many as they can for whatever thrill or notoriety or other motivation that they may have. I think that for those of us who are law-abiding and do have respect for other people and value their lives and circumstances, that it is important that we are not silent. Only light can drive out darkness and only good can drive out evil. We should never, ever stop being shocked and saddened when these things occur. This isn't the first <coughs> thing. I'm afraid it won't be the last. But we should always speak out and we should always be good and spread light and do all that we can to um, make this world a better place, make our community stronger, to be kind to those around us and show that we value life and we value every person and every individual no matter their circumstances. That we may be part of the solution, part of the good, hopefully driving out evil and the light driving out darkness. Um, that having been said, I'd like to invite everybody to stand and just observe a moment of silence for those hundreds or those dozens that were killed, hundreds that were injured, and thousands that were personally impacted by having a loved one or an acquaintance or otherwise being involved in that uh, terrible incident. Thank you. Next, we have uh, a scout troop here, or a Cub Scout pack, or troop, or let's see, got to get Dan, Dan, there we go. Boy, it's been too many years since my kids were little. Uh, and so they're going to come up and uh, just tell us who they are, uh, their pack, and their uh, what they're doing here tonight, and their schools. So if you'll come up and you can pull the microphone down. to New Armstrong Academy Elementary, and I go to Fox Hills Elementary. Thank you very much. Nice to have you here tonight. And I think that was all of you. Um, next we have our minutes of September 26th to the Council for a motion on the minutes. May I have for approval of the September 26th minutes? Second. Any discussion? Seeing none. All in favor of approving the minutes, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, say no. The motion passes unanimously. Our minutes are approved. Uh, next, we go to uh, our Employee of the Month Award. We turn to Councilman Christensen, I believe, on that. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Aaron Krim, would you please stand? I think you're hiding over there in the corner. Aaron was nominated by Margo Alexandrovich and Nicole Kamak. And I'd just like to read the letter of recommendation and nomination. 
Aaron is always willing to help, and no matter how busy he is, he somehow always manages to find time to assist the many departments that need public relation guidance. Recently, Aaron directed and executed a training video for the Public Works Department. It was a very well done video that is used for the stormwater training all the time. We were looking to hire an engineering <coughs> firm to create this training video for us at a hefty price. But Sam and Aaron graciously offered to do it in-house at no cost at all, which we appreciate. Aaron worked with our schedules and deadlines to make sure we finished on time. We've also started a recycling education campaign, and Aaron has stepped up to help again. Aaron also went above and beyond in assisting the city recorder's office during this election season. He took time out of his busy schedule to train the recorder on how to update the website with election information and has always been available to answer questions or help when the website is being difficult, which is very often, no matter the time or day. Aaron put together several amazing social media videos that were interactive, easy to follow, and provided valuable information to voters in the city. These videos covered everything from voter registration, candidate information, vote by mail, voting locations, etc. This was the first time the city provided this type of information over social media in this way, and Aaron really stepped up to the challenge and exceeded our expectations. These are just two examples of Aaron's hard work, though there are many departments that most definitely could share more. Aaron, thanks for all you do, and congratulations on being Employee of the Month. Next we go to our Division of the Quarter Award in Engineering in the Public Works Department. That's Councilman Bueller. Thank you, Mayor. And we have several of you here and look forward to you coming up and shaking our hands. I'll uh, read this commendation. The Engineering Division has had a very busy and productive summer. More city infrastructure work has been completed this season than ever before in the city's history. The Engineering Division designs, acquires right-of-way, inspects and manages construction of a variety of projects, including construction of new streets and sidewalks, traffic signals, parking lots, bridges, storm drains, and pavement management contracts, plus coordination with major UDOT projects and plan review and inspection of all new developments. This summer, 14 different projects with a value of over $16.5 million have been or will be completed by the Engineering Division. All of this has been accomplished with a staff of 15. That is a great value. In a city with an aging infrastructure and limited resources, getting the most out of each dollar spent is imperative. The engineering division has worked tirelessly to ensure quality in the design, construction, and functionality of the city's transportation and drainage infrastructures. City funds have been stretched by utilizing half a dozen different federal and state funding sources, each with its own rules and requirements. Construction is often a dirty word when residents are inconvenienced during the short Utah construction season. But the benefits of the work accomplished this summer will last for decades. So thank you and please come on up. <coughs>
think you did it right. <laughs> Okay, next we have our public comment period, and we have signed up Kelly Bertas, who has come to speak to us. Good evening, Mayor, Council Members. My name is Kelly Bertas, 5954 West, Sign a Circle. Uh, first off, thank you for your comments about the shooting. Terrible disaster. sad part is it can happen here at any given time and I don't mean to come down on anybody whatsoever but when disaster happens all the politics need to drop and this will probably make an attorney mad but in a disaster all that stuff goes out the window safety is first and take care of things this is where we need to step up and get with our volunteers we're not a liability to this city. We are value. There's a difference between a volunteer and professional volunteerism. We need to look at this stuff. I just had a big drill with the airport over the weekend of an of a aircraft crash. This could happen across our city at any given time. And I can guarantee it's the public, it's you guys, it's everybody here that's going to be stepping up to take care of things. We need to step up to the plate and allow our citizens to have the training and recognition that we deserve. We're the ones that are the first responders. My heart goes out to the fire department. They're my heroes. I never want to be a fireman. But I go take care of them on two alarm fires of the boat. There's a group of us that step up and we run the rehab team for them. But we also do a lot of other things throughout the state of Utah. And as a volunteer, we need to look at us, because we are a liability and a reliability to the city. So I hope you guys really look at your attorneys and start saying, when a disaster hits our city, who is going to be there for us? It's going to be the citizens that's going to be stepping up. I hope you recognize that and take that as, yes, let's look at this because we all need to have this kind of education and training. In an active shooter event, it's a tragedy to happen, it shouldn't have happened. But those things do. My heart goes out to all the people involved. I'd like to give thanks to Public Works and the Street Department for getting the light on 4100 and 6000. What a great relief for traffic out there. Now I hope that you can help us out to get one on 35th and 6,000th because that Alto is a big nightmare. And uh, I'm doing my best to try to get petitions that people call you, Dot. But I hope that we can also step up to you guys and say, help us. We need help on that light too. Uh, street parking again. How many family members in a home can have 15 cars or so? and park them on the street. It's a little ridiculous. But you cannot come down on my street half the time with a big vehicle. It will not allow you through with all the cars and trailers and semis that are parked there. And it's a small, well, it's a long circle, but it's still a narrow road. Uh, 
a few weeks or months ago, I think it was from ET Technologies that come about odor control. If any of you live out in that area, it is not the landfill, it is ET technology of the raw sewages that they dump there, that that odor is overabundantly strong. And any time that wind comes from out of the north, blowing southwise, it smells like a big hog farm or worse. I hope that you guys really, when they stepped up to say that they'll take care of the odor, make them take care of it. I know this has happened for over 20 something years, I know of, closer to 30 years. I know ET technology very well. And if you really understood what they take there, you would probably step up and think twice. It's, it's pretty bad stuff. So we appreciate your help, but I ask you please, has anybody contacted you, Dot, about the weed control on the north side of 35th and Hunter Park? Those weeds are getting to be close to nine feet tall. So it's a hideous look to the city. I hope you take a look at it and take some action. Thank you. Thank you very much. Was there anyone else here to speak in our public comment period? Appears that there are none, so thank you. And we'll come back uh, to our assistant city manager who's sitting in tonight for our city manager. Mr. Isaac, do you have any comments? No, except to say to Mr. Burkott, I appreciate his comments. I uh, appreciate uh, the things that he does and brings to us as a, not only to you as a body, but up for us as a management staff. And everything you said tonight has, has been well noted. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. To the council and for any comments. Just one comment. Councilman Vincent. Uh, I, Mr. Batosh brings up the the, the, the thought of uh, volunteerism in the city, and particularly when it comes to disasters. Our city, our city has a very vigorous CERT program that's put on by our fire department. I've been through the CERT training, been to the d disaster drills that they do, and, and the problem is, is we just don't have enough people signing up to go to those CERT classes. But the people who go to those CERT classes uh, get really, really good training, and, and I appreciate the training that our fire department does, but wish that there were more people in the neighborhoods that would take advantage of that CERT training. Okay, thank you. With that then, we'll go to item 8 on our agenda, which are public hearings. We have uh, uh, a public hearing on Ordinance 17-35. This is to amend our current year budget, which began July 1st and will end June 30th of 2018. This is some changes that were, are occurring uh, from increased revenues and the following general categories. There are a number of items that were being worked on that we are rolling forward from last year into this year uh, that we thought would come closer to being completed, and some of those are fairly large items. Those are just rollovers, so they were in last year's budget, and now they're in this year's. We also received some grants that we're not, uh, we were not aware of, and so we've added those into the budget. Uh, there have also been some donations, uh, different things that have happened along those lines, although most of them are fairly small. Uh, there are some that are in there that we are adding into our budget and a few things we've approved since then. So those are being added into our budget that was previously approved. That is the introduction to our issue. So now we will invite anyone here who is, uh, wants to speak to this. We'll open the public hearing portion. Is there anyone here who would like to speak to the budget changes? Okay, seeing none, we'll close the public hearing portion, bring it back to the council to consider Ordinance 17-35. Mayor, move for approval of Ordinance 17-35. Second. Properly before us, any further discussion? Uh, so that our scouts know, uh, we actually discussed these items last week in a previous meeting. So if we don't ask a lot of questions, 
we did that last week. We have a study session, uh, and we just had one a little bit ago for next week. So we discussed our next week items. So we actually do take an interest in these things. It just doesn't, uh, it's just a different meeting. So per state law, we'll go to our city recorder for the roll call vote. Councilman Bickman? Yes. Councilwoman Lang? Yes. Councilman Bueller? Aye. Councilman Hume? Aye. Councilman Christensen? Yes. Councilman Norfelt? Yes. And Mayor Bigelow? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Next, we go to item 9 on our agenda. We have uh, some resolutions that we need to take care of. Uh, the first one is Resolution 17-155. This is to authorize our, the Municipal Building Authority of West Valley City to execute a warranty deed to the Municipal Building Authority for property at 4160 South 6400 West. Almost sounds like we're doing it twice, doesn't it? We have a fire station, Fire Station 71, which is out on uh, 4160 South, 6400 West. Currently that property sits on two separate pieces. In other words, on county records there's two pieces of property. It looks like it's one, but actually it's not. So what we're doing is we're taking those combining them into one, and then transferring them to the Municipal Building Authority. And the reason it goes there is because that's the way the bonds are set up, and that's how we do it until the bonds are paid off. Uh, because we are adding on to that significantly. Uh, that's one of the three fire stations that are being worked on uh, for, well, actually, almost concurrently, a couple of them concurrently, and then that one will be finished a little later on. So we're, that is the issue before us, so we'll deal with Resolution 17-155 to the Council. Mayor, I move for approval of Resolution 17-155. Second. Properly before us, any further discussion? Seeing none, we'll turn to our City Recorder for the vote. Councilman Northout? Yes. Councilman Christensen? Yes. Councilman Hume? Aye. Councilman Bueller? Aye. Councilman Link? Yes. Councilman Vincent? Yes. And Mayor Bigelow? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Next we go to Resolution 17-156. This is authorizing the city to enter into an agreement. Uh, a master tax exempt lease purchase agreement, actually, with U.S. Bank Corp. This is to arrange the financing for the purchase of equipment for the fire department. The purchase of this equipment is for a crew cab and trailer, a heavy duty trailer that will be used for heavy rescue uh, for the police, de for, the, for the fire department. Uh, and uh, so we have three actually resolutions dealing with this. The first one is to set up the financing for it, see if we actually have money to do it. So, uh, this particular lease, $562,730, uh, it'll be an eight-year lease, quarterly payments at an interest rate of 2.21%. And at the end of that time, the city will own the equipment after lease payments are made. And those are in our current year budget. Uh, with that introduction, then we'll deal with Resolution 17-156. Council? Move for approval of Resolution 17-156. Second. Property before us. Any further discussion? Seeing none to our city recorder for the vote. Councilman Vincent? Yes. Councilwoman Lane? Yes. Councilman Bueller? Aye. Councilman Hume? Aye. Councilman Christensen? Yes. Councilman Northout? Yes. And Mayor Bigelow? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. Next we'll deal with, now that we have the leasing in place and the funds uh, for the actual purchase now of, uh, on Resolution 17-157, the search and rescue trailer that the fire department will use. This will come with a lot of equipment and things in there. Some will be transferred to it. This trailer 
costs four hundred and twenty two thousand nine hundred ninety six dollars and uh, so that's the first half of that we'll deal with the crew cap separately so with that to the council for resolution 17-157 now I'd like to note that this uh, can of trailers replacement equipment that we have that is old that is obsolete that is uh, requiring more maintenance um, than is cost effective at this point. Um, with that, I would move for approval of resolution 17-157. Second. Property before us. And as a note, uh, the vehicle being replaced will be utilized for parts and transfers and backup and other things, but it can't stand the rigorous use that they currently have for it. With that to our City recorder for the vote. Councilman Vincent? Yes. Councilman Link? Yes. Councilman Bueller? Aye. Councilman Hume? Aye. Councilman Christensen? Yes. Councilman Nordfeld? Yes. And Mayor Bigelow? Aye. The motion passes unanimously. Next, the final piece of that, uh, resolution 17-158, a resolution authorizing the purchase of a heavy rescue crew cab for use by the fire department that will pull this large trailer around for urban search and rescue um, and it is for ninety thousand two hundred and six dollars and uh, by the way it's used not only within our city but oftentimes we're called out to assist other municipalities and or the state with that then to the council for a motion I would move for approval of resolution 17-158 second Probably before us. Any further comments? Seeing none, to our city recorder. Councilman Northville? Yes. <clears throat> Councilman Christensen? Yes. Councilman Hume? Aye. Councilman Bueller? Aye. Councilwoman Lang? Yes. Councilman Vincent? Yes. And Mayor Bigelow? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. Okay, that completes the work for our regularly scheduled council meeting. We do have three other brief meetings right after this. Uh, so you'll see us just jump to those. So when we adjourn this one, we'll start the next one. So a motion to adjourn, and we'll do that. Motion to adjourn. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, say no. Passes unanimously. Our regular meeting is adjourned, and now we'll have all the other ones. Thank you, uh, Mayor. Uh, we call to order the uh, West Side City Redevelopment Agency tonight. Uh, Opening ceremony was conducted by uh, Steve Builder uh, earlier tonight, and very thoughtful, and uh, we appreciate that very much. Uh, we have everyone here tonight. Um, now we have approval of minutes, and we have three sets of minutes, June 6, 2017, uh, July 18, 2017, a special meeting, and also September 12, 2017, a special meeting, and we will turn it over to the council. Mr. Chair, I move for approval of the three sets of minutes. Second. Thank you. We have a motion. We have a second. Any discussion for this? None. So all in the favor of this uh, approval of minutes, uh, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? None. So motion passes unanimously. Uh, item number five, report of uh, Chief Executive Officer. We'll turn over to the city, uh, uh, acting city manager tonight. Uh, Paul Isaac. Thank you, sir. I have no report this evening. Okay, thank you. And uh, one last motion. Motion to adjourn. Thank you. So, all in favor of this motion, please say aye. Aye. So, we are adjourned. Which goes next? Housing Authority? Call to order the West Valley City uh, Housing Authority. We've had the opening ceremony and the roll call show that all of them are here. We have the minutes of June 6th, 2017, that need to be approved. Mr. Chair, I move for approval of those minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion to those minutes? All in favor of those? Aye. Aye. Passes unanimously. As far as I know, we have no report from our executive director, so one more item. Motion to adjourn. So moved on. All in favor, say? Aye. 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 Call to order the Building Authority meeting for West Valley City. 
now that we've had an opening ceremony and a roll call, we have um, minutes of June 6, 2017. Is there any discussion or a motion? Madam Chair, I move for approval of the June 6, 2017 minutes. Second. Thank you. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Um, report from the Executive Officer? No, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. We have one item on the agenda. It is executing and accepting the warranty deed on the property we spoke about in the public hearing uh, for the property on um, 4160 South 6400 West for the police, I mean the fire station. 5400 West. Did I say it wrong? 6400? It is 64. It is wrong on your phone. Okay. Sorry. Um, is there any discussion or motion on the item? We move for approval of resolution 17-07. Second. Thank you. Turn it over to the recorder for a vote. Mr. Vincent? Yes. Mr. Bueller? Aye. Mr. Hume? Aye. Mr. Bigelow? Aye. Mr. Christensen? Yes. Mr. Northwell? Yes. And Chairperson Link? Yes. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Our next motion is to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. And we're finished.